coal. Frank, go get it. About the rest of it. Leave it alone. What's wrong with it? It's money, ain't it? Take a little, leave a little. You don't want these people mad at us, do you? Nice clean work. Yeah, the hours are good too. I'll see you in Miss Honeycutt's. Right. Take it easy, doll. We've got a lot of time for that later. Did you get enough to buy a ranch, Jay? I don't know. I haven't counted it yet. Come on, honey. First things come first. Get these keys back to Papa. Somebody's gonna break a leg if you don't have those steps fixed. I've intended to, Mr. Clark, but it seems that we're always out of money. If we could get a bank loan... Well, that's no excuse. I've told you a thousand times you have no collateral. Thank you. 
times have I told you never to point that camera at anybody in this bunch? Why not? There never has been a picture taken of a James Boy, and there never will be. Do you think I want our faces staring at us from wanted posters? You have your fun. I'm not arguing with you, I'm telling you. How much grain in the sack, Frank? Oh, I'd say 10,000. Hey, that's close to a thousand apiece, ain't it? You're close, Ford. Let's split it then. No, we need this money for something else. Oh, wait a minute, Jesse. We've been out here for three weeks. We're out of whiskey and gambling money, and some of us don't like it. What do you want to do? You want it in five states. Seems to me we're all in it together. That's right, up to our necks. And when we get enough money in the pot to get out, we're going to leave. Until then, we're laying low. Everybody except you. You've been in town every day since we've been here. That's right. And I don't want to see anybody coming in looking for me. Mrs. Honeycutt, how is the fairest flower of the deep south? Did you miss me? Yes, Jesse, I'll kiss you. Jay, not Jesse, Jay Woodson, remember? My goodness, I know. Haven't I hid out ever poor old hunted ex-Confederate who ever set foot in Mississippi? My doll. <laughs> I tell you, it's an inside job. It's no signs of break-ins, cause I've looked. I'm the only man in the world that's got a set of keys to that bank. None of my employees could have possibly got in. Well, ain't you got the keys? Right here. Well, then, where are we? If you're insinuating that I stole from my own bank... If you didn't, who did? That's what I want you to find out. I still say it's an inside job. Well, who did it, Angel? How'd you know my name? Well, you are an angel, aren't you? Nope. Well, you look like an angel to me. That ain't what my pa thinks. And who's your pa? Sheriff Boss. Well, he seems like a nice enough man. He wops me, of course. I guess he's got a right to. You see, I'm different. Oh, you're different. Well, what makes you so different? Well, take Banker Clark. He's a mean old man. He wouldn't even give Reverend Snell enough money to fix up the church. I'm glad he got robbed. I only wish Jesse James would have done it. Hmm. What do you know about Jesse James? Well, well, I know he robs old men like Clark. Jesse's my hero. You better get yourself another hero. What's this money for? That's because you're different. Well, 
I was wondering when you were going to drop in to see us. Oh, I've been around. I expect you have. Who are you? Jay Woodson. I'm a cattleman. I'm Waco Gann. I'm a woman. I never would have guessed it. Have a drink, woman. You going to be around long? That depends. I understand there's a herd of cattle coming in from Texas. That's right. That's one of Banker Clark's deals. Well, I often do business with bankers. There's vacant seats at the tables, Waco. Let go of me. You're supposed to be working. You're interrupting a conversation, Mr. Uh... Cameo. Is that a name? Some people seem to think so. Now you finish your drink, and then you get out. Sure. <laughs> Hold it. Cameo will get him. Boys, the fun's over. The drinks are on the house. You're pretty handy with that pop gun. Thanks. I just had the floors clean. I didn't want to get blood all over them. That's what I like. For a good housekeeper. What else do you like? Well, we might talk about it sometime. If you happen to be driving a buggy down by the river road, I might be walking there. You know what? Lord wouldn't like that if they saw it. The boys have them to pleasure. What they don't know won't hurt them. <laughs> Jesse, that wasn't a banker's daughter, was it? No, it wasn't. Just keep quiet about it, Cole. What? Cameo always carries the house money with him in a satchel, so I'm convinced he's about to run out on me. I should think a girl like you could do all right on her own. You don't really need him, do you? No, but I am going to need some money. Anyway. It's nice to have a man around the house. Well, maybe I can figure something out. What about that job in Adair Alway? You wasn't with us then. July 73 it was. We invented train robbery that day. Oh, Jesse thunk it up. Figured he had it coming after the way that railroad man hurt his maw. Jesse never will forget that. Right. And that's why I say Jesse's entitled to his fun. The banker's daughter and that new one. Wow. Cole, you talk too much. You mean Jesse's got another woman? Well, uh... I got a look at that Waco Gans. It couldn't be her. She's flat ugly. Ugly? Well, that's the best looking... Suppose he has got another woman. I never complained about the way Jess runs this outfit. Well, ain't that nice. But I figure we got a right to a fair split. Who says you're not getting one? It ain't the money. It's sticking out here week after week. It's better than being behind bars, ain't it? Wait a minute, Jess. You siding against me, Frank? No one's siding against you. The boys figure you might answer a few questions, that's all. All right, go ahead and ask them. You've been talking big about getting enough money to buy our way back home. From what I can make out, you're trying to spend what we already got in those women you got in town. Now look, women don't mean a thing to me, but they're tools that you can use. A jimmy to open a window, a key to open a bank. Does that answer your question? It ain't the best answer I ever heard. It's the only one you're gonna get. Wait a minute, Jess. When I ask a civil question, I expect a civil answer. Remember that the next time. Frank! 
I'm sorry I got mad, Frank. Forget it. Stop making a fool out of yourself. I might consider it. But I'm telling the truth. There's nothing I want to do more than to get home. But by the time we split with the boys, we haven't got enough money left. I don't know how we can get some more. How many women are involved? Just one. I guess we can handle them. They come one at a time. Good. Now, there's a gambler in town by the name of Cameo. I want you and Cole to get in a game with him. You're going to lose. But that's the idea. Where are you two going? In the town on business. I'm getting good and sick of this. I wouldn't go that far, but it seems like all of us should have some fun. You know dang well all of us should. I'm for Jesse, but shut. Ah, it's like jail stuck out here. If Jesse gets enough money, we'll get out. There goes the big man, all dude up. You know what? What? There's a stagecoach coming through here today. Now, wait a minute, Bob. You know what Jesse said? If we come in loaded with money, what can he say? <laughs> Miss? I'm looking for a man named Clark. I'm Mr. Clark. Well, I'm Cattle Kate Kennedy. Wow, this is indeed a pleasure, Miss Kennedy. I'd like you to meet my daughter, Caprice. Hiya. How do you do? There's your cattle, where you want them delivered. Put them on my ranch, 10 miles south of here. That's another day's drive, mister. I know, but you promised to deliver them on my property. Well, how about the money? I'll have your money when you return. Listen, mister. I brought those cows a long way, and I'll take half that money right now. Well, now, <clears throat> to tell you the truth, miss, I'm a little short of cash right now. You see, my bank was robbed a couple of days ago. Don't tell me the James boys have gotten this far south. James boys? What do you know about them? Oh, I've run across them from time to time. I'll be back in town in a day or two, and I want that money. <laughs> Lots of action today. Big game. A couple of cattlemen from out of town are really chunking it in today. Losing, huh? Well, when you take it away from Cameo, you got to be up plenty early and real sober. Bad luck, friends. Our new deck? A new deck of luck for me. Break out the new pasteboards. They can't be any worse. So good. Anybody open? Not me. For 50. I raise. I'm out. And I'll raise 100. I'll just play along. Like a sucker, so will I. Cards, if any, gents. Two for me. Here we go. And for me, none. I'll play these. That's right. None for you. I bet 50. I call. And I raise 200. What you got, gambler man? Yeah, 
my car. Just aces? Full of gangs? It's not only a cold deck, they're marked. Get him, Jay! No gunplay, somebody's liable to get hurt. I've been expecting this, boy, and I've been expecting it. Goodbye, and it's been a pleasure to do business with you. No, you don't. Get the sheriff, form a posse, and go get him. Yeah, well, you get the sheriff. Come on, Bob. You double crosser. Don't forget now, boys. Get the sheriff. What are you doing? Just trying to make an honest dollar. Stall the posse and give me a little time. Frank Cole, come on. the money. Why don't you go look for it? Mm. All right. It's back by Frisco's body. Follow on to know. Oh. You gonna let me go? Why not? You think I'm gonna forget this? Yeah, because I figure you want to go on living. And you better beat it before that posse gets here. Jake and his partner, but Cameo had too much heart. Well, how about the money? He got plumb away with it. Cost these two men a small fortune. We tried to stop him, but that horse just plain out put at us. All right, fellas, throw that body in the wagon. Let's get back to town. Dave, please let me ride with you. I don't want to ride with no dead man. You ride in that wagon. I'm going to teach you a lesson. You come on and ride with me, Angel. Well, I'm sorry, Waco. He had a fast horse. I didn't figure on that. That doesn't get me my money back. What are you sore about? He owned half the place. It's all yours now. Do you have any idea how much money it takes to bank these games? With the kind of cards you use, it shouldn't take any. I'll see you later. I have some unfinished business to take care of. You have a little unfinished business to take care of here.
Hiya, doll. Vic told I didn't hear it, but I did. That Bob Ford started it. They've gone to rob the stage. Say what? How long have they been gone? About four hours. I guess we had a little bit too much to drink, Jess, and Ford saying we could take all that bank money off the stage. I don't want any excuses. I want to know what happened. Well, Bob didn't plan it good. We got all the passengers out, but Wells Fargo man threw down on us. If you killed anybody, so help me out. Jess, we're sobered up. We knew you was playing it safe in this country. So you ran? That's right, Jesse. Where is Bob? Well, there was a woman on the stage, and we had to run. Well, Ford, he sort of grabbed her. He took her along. Where? Down at the creek crossing, you know. You forgot your guns, Jess. Come on, Cole. From me, Jesse. What's the matter, Bob? What are you afraid of? I haven't got my guns on. I'll kill you, Jesse. I'm warning you. You haven't got guts enough to shoot a man in the back. Jesse! I'm going to kill you! You're getting careless, Jesse. How can I ever thank you? I'll think of something. You boys take Ford back to Mrs. Hennecutt's. I'll take care of the young lady. He'll take care of her. Bet your life he will. How many can he take care of? What's the female population of Mississippi? So you're going to sing at the Golden Bell? That's right. Are you going to come to see me? Oh, I might drop around. Well, I guess I'd better get you into town. Do we have to? Well, I've never been to New Orleans. Oh, you'd have so much fun. <laughs> uh, Del Delta, I mean, uh, uh, Waco, this is Delta. Pleased to meet you, Miss Gans. I'm your new singer. Then go change your clothes and start singing. Yes, ma'am. Now, Waco, it was very simple. It happened... I heard about it. The stagecoach driver told me. She got kidnapped, and you saved her from a fate worse than death. I only did what any red-blooded American man would do. Jay, I don't like being too timed. Oh, doll, you don't think I'd do that to you. Did you say red-blooded American man? Yeah. Well, I have some advice for you. You better change your nationality or the color of your blood, or you won't have any manhood left. I'm sorry you bring that old woman in. Hi, Angel. What do you mean, old woman? She must be a way over 21. Well, I hope so. You ain't in love with her, are you? Nor Caprice Clark neither, are you? How can I be when I'm in love with you? You ain't in love with me. Not yet. But I can wait. That is, if Jesse James doesn't come along. Well, let's hope he doesn't come along. 
Are you sure you're not in love with Caprice Clark? Of course not. Then here's a note for you. my note. I've been wanting to see you, doll. I know. But you've been busy buying land for a ranch. Well, a man can't be too careful about those things. You don't have to go out and test every inch of the grass, do you? Now, Caprice. How was she, Jay? Caprice, it was only business. What did she do, rob a saloon for you? I hear you ran her partner out of town. He was dealing a crooked game. That ain't honest. I wonder what would happen if I told father about the bank. Well, we'd probably spend our honeymoon in jail. I wouldn't mind that. The honeymoon. You know why I did it, Jay. It was for you. A chance to settle down. This is as good a place as any. What can I do for you? I heard that Mr. Woodson had a parcel of men out here. I thought I'd come out and check them over. You mean my cowhand, Sheriff? Is that what they are? Best bunch of cowhands I've ever had. They're just waiting around till I find myself a ranch and stock it. You know, I think this will be a great country for raising beef. Now, that's what I've been saying for years, that someday that Mississippi will have more cattle in Texas. Uh, Mr. Woodson, uh, somebody told us and <clears throat> we heard that we might already come out and investigate your men. Well, they're all right here. Brought this little lady alone in case one of them is the man who grabbed her so she could identify him. Well, I'd hate to think that any of my men would do a thing like that, but she's welcome to look. All right, fellas, over here, line up. Ford! Well, there they are. Yes. Not this one. You can see he wouldn't have the nerve. Happened to your ears. Satisfied, Sheriff? Well, just doing my duty, Mr. Woodson. Since the bank's been robbed, and cameo getting away with the money, they kind of got me in a sweat. Well, I wish I could have been of some help. But thank you. I reckon I'll go down and look at the cabin where they brought her. Sheriff, could you please send one of your men back to town with me? I have to go. Don't bother, Sheriff. I'll take the young lady back to town. Well, I'll be seeing you. You brought the sheriff out here? That's right. Why didn't you identify the man who did it? He wouldn't be worth anything to me in jail. What's he worth to you out of jail? It's up to you, darling. You're the generous type. I'll get my hat and guns. I'll be right back. Give the boys what they got coming and tell them to hit the trail. What about Cole? Cole stays with us. What's wrong, Jess? As long as Ford's with us, that gal will bleed me blind. The others were with him. Get rid of him. I ain't gonna forget this. You were crying to leave, now get out. Where are we supposed to go? You can figure that out for yourself.
Bob forward, keep riding. I don't want any trouble with you, Kate. I didn't even know you were around. Jesse never tells me nothing. Jesse? Sure. Didn't you know he was here? No, but it sounds like pretty interesting information. Where can I find him? Down at the Golden Bell Saloon. That's where he spends most of his time. Doesn't sound like he's changed much since the last time I saw him. He's going under the name of Jay Woodson. It's a cent you wouldn't go under his own. He's got a price of 10000 on him, if somebody wants to turn him in. Why tell me? I figured you might want to get even for that deal he pulled on you up in Montana. I always had a hunch you were a rat forward. Now I'm sure of it. Get out of camp. So long. Never, never know how much I love, how much I love you. But if you'll play it right, and if you'll hold me tight, then you will see how much I care. My careless lover, my careless one, my careless lover. If you will hold me tight but for a single night then you will see I'm made for love But if we stay apart I'll slowly eat my heart Don't let me pass my life away Tightly careless lover Hold me tight, tightly, dearest lover, kiss me tonight. For if you care for me, then you will dare for me, then you will dare to let me kiss you. But if you Break away, there'll be no other day, and you can see how much I care. Don't want to rest easy. Chant moi d'amour pendant la nuit. Then you will dare for me, then you will dare to love Don't sing your song to me, doll. Kiss you. But if you break away, there'll be no other day, and you will pine your heart away. You want to leave now? You want to wait till shooting starts? You think he'd know better than have two of them in the same saloon? Two? What do you mean, two? With Kate, there's three. You look very pretty tonight. I bought this dress especially for you. Didn't know I was worth it. Well, I really wanted to, Jay, except I spent all the money you gave me. Kind of expensive, wasn't it? Well, you don't want to see poor little me go hungry, do Now, look, doll, you run along. I'll see you later. Don't you like to talk to me? Sure, I like to talk to you, but I don't like what you talk about. Now, beat it. 
But, Jay, I told you I needed some more money. And I told you I'd see you later. Uh-oh. Why, Miss Gans, I didn't know you were here. Now, I bet you didn't. Well, I guess I better go sing another little number. Don't bother. But I want to. I always want to feel that I'm earning my pay. I wouldn't worry about that either if I were you. You're fired. Well, you can't fire me without any reason. But I have a reason. I don't like levy cats. Why, you... Now pack up your clothes and get out. Don't you worry, honey. I'll take care of you. Waco, you shouldn't have done that. I told you once, Jay, I don't like being too tired. If you want to drink with a woman, drink with me. Hello, Jay. Aren't you speaking to your old friend? <laughs> Why, sure, Kate. What are you doing here? I just drove a herd of cattle into town. Who is she? Get lost. I want to talk to my old friend. Which one do you want? I'll give you six to five on Kate. Buy me a drink, Jay. Don't bother. She isn't going to be here long enough to drink it. You want to bet? Now, ladies. Get out. Look, doll. I saw you belt that other dame. But don't try it with me or I'll take you apart. <laughs> bucket of beer. At a time like this? Come on, give me a bucket of beer. Nice fight, Waco. Siempre me voy a recordar de ti. Mi corazón está rompiendo. Yo sé que siempre yo te quiero. Si te Porque siempre recordó de ti, mi vida siempre será tuya. The bitter sweet that I remember, and tender love.
shadows seem to taunt me. Deep in my very soul they haunt me with memories of a stolen love we knew. No matter where upon this earth you stray, and other lips will swear they love me so. Never can they make these shadows go. Far away in the shadows of my heart. Very pretty. No Spanish love song, Jay. Yes, I know. I meant every word of it. Look, doll, you better forget all about me before you get another black eye. Well, you can't kill a girl for trying. No, I guess you can't. Is this all I get? How far are you going? That stage fare back to New Orleans. Now you better hit the trail. You know, Jay, I think I was wrong the other day. I think it was one of your men that kidnapped me. Well, you're thinking just a little late because he's already gone. Of course. I never would have thought of turning him in. Oh, no, I know you wouldn't. Now hit the trail. Such a long way back home, Jay. Can I spend the night, please? All right, tell Miss Honeycutt to give you a room. I already have. Such a long way home. Can I spend the night here, Jay? Please. All right, you're thinking it. Go ahead and say it. Women are tools oh, to be used. Oh, shut up, Frank. Look, Jess, we've played along with you this far, but things have begun to get complicated. Let's get out of here. Where do you want to go? South. I think there's a guff down that way. We've got to get out of here with Kate in town. That's the reason I want to stick around. Why do you want to hang around her? She just sold a herd of cattle to Clark. When she gets paid off, I want to be sure that nobody robs her. You're looking for trouble, Jesse. You want enough money to go home, don't you? Sure, but... All right, then let me play it my way. Come on, Lauren, Sheriff. Ain't you for me in that jail? That's what the judge said, Sheriff, but I never did agree with him. Well, what are you doing out here? I'm eating. It's nicer out here. How'd you get out of that jail? Oh, Angel made me a trustee. Oh, that Angel, what have I done to deserve this? You get back in that jail and I'll give you a sure, sure. You're going out and stand out where you belong. Angel. Hi, Clark. Take care of the office while you was gone. How many times have I told you about turning those prisoners loose? Give me those kids. <laughs> Turn it loose, you prisoner. Locking up your children, I'm plumb sick of all of this. Lexington can't come too soon for me. I won't put a sheriff anymore, Pa. You can take over right now. All right, you kids, get on out there and stay out. picture of Jesse James. Jesse James? That's Jay Woodson. Look good and you will see who it is. Frank James and Cole Younger is the others. This will get you that reward prawn too from a F-I-E-N-D. Friend. That must be friend, some friend. Oh. 
Looks like a good town, Ace. Well, feed the horse and I'll meet you at the saloon, all right? All right Jeff. See you then. Okay. <laughs> Gosh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I wasn't watching where I was going. Hey, <laughs> you're much too pretty to be going around with a shotter like that. <laughs> it's awfully nice of you to say that. Where'd you get it? Oh, I ran into a swinging door. Except that's not the way you spell it. I had the same experience. <laughs> we certainly have a lot in common, don't we? If it ain't too bold of me, I, I could have my man fix it up for you. You could? Really? Ah, oh, he's fixed lots of those rubes that tried to win that thousand dollars from us. <laughs> Say, uh, you don't look like a small town girl to me. I'm not. I'm just passing through Silver Creek. I knew it. <laughs> you couldn't stick around a few days, could you? <laughs> Maybe I could. Hey, hey, Pat. Yeah, champ? Fix the young lady's eye for her, will you? <laughs> It'll be a pleasure. Ace will fix you up inside there. Aren't you coming in? Well, if you want me to, Miss, uh... Just call me Delta. <laughs> you know, you and I have a lot to talk about. The talk, baby. Money talk. <laughs> I like money. Well, I sort of like that stuff myself. <laughs> and I have a sort of a friend who might want to fight you. Well, now, that's my business. Uh, how big is he, huh? About half your size. <laughs> Half my size, well, what in the world would he want to fight me for, huh? Well, he likes money, too. And if I told him he was sure to win... Delta, I think you and I understand each other. <laughs> We've got another day's drive to reach Park's place, ain't we? Yeah. Weather's holding up pretty good. Reckon Silver Creek's a right lively little town. Why don't you come right out and ask what happened? <laughs> what happened, Kate? I got in a fight. <laughs> you always was a good one for a fight or a frolic. And I'm not through with it yet. <laughs> Reckon you ain't at that. What's her name, Kate? She calls herself Waco Gans. Waco Gans, I've heard tell of her, and she's a right pretty gal, they say. Huh, crow bait. When I get through with it, she'll be buzzard bait. We're going to live with them cattle first, though, ain't we? We don't get paid till we do, and I never got mad enough at anybody to lose money on it. <laughs> Jay! I thought you'd left town. I'm running out of money. I know, darling. And you were so wonderful to me last night. But I've got a wonderful idea that'll make us all rich. I'm not interested. Did you say rich? I made the acquaintance fighter, Mr. O'Toole. How is that going to make us rich? Well, he's offering $1,000 to any man who can stay in the ring with him for three rounds. Good. Let's go find him a man. Well, that I mean. You're the man. I ought to know. You don't know anything, doll. I'm no prize fighter. But you whip that Ford fellow. Anybody can whip that Ford fellow. Now, you keep that prize fighter away from me, and we'll all stay healthy. But, Mr. O'Toole, trust me. <laughs> I've heard that those guys didn't have too much sense. And with me to help you? How can you help? Well, I learned in New Orleans how to handle these money. Now, a couple of drops of this equalizer in his drink, and even I can whip him. You wouldn't be trying to frame me, would you? Well, why would I want to do a thing like that for? Well, I can think of a couple of reasons. Now, the only way I can make money is if you win. I like money. Yeah, I know. So all you have to do is agree to fight him, and I'll be in his side, but I'll be working for you. He's in the Golden Bell right now. It's worth a try. <laughs> We came down this country looking for sports. Real red-blooded He-Man. <laughs> Nobody's come forward yet to take up our generous offer. One thousand dollars to any man. Any man who can stand up to me for three rounds. <laughs> 
How about you, cousin? Me? Yeah, you look like the sporting type. <laughs> well, I've always thought I could hold my own in an argument. Well, all you have to do is stand up to me for three rounds. You can make yourself some good money. <laughs> How long is a round? Well, London prize ring rules. A round consists of the time when either man has been knocked or wrestled down the fair mean. No kicking, biting, gouging, kneeing. You just took away my best punches. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll fight according to the Marquis of Queensberry rule. I never heard of it. <laughs> well, I tell you, a round consists of three minutes. One minute rest between rounds. Now, mister, this is a real honor. First time in this country. For a thousand dollars? Sure, and all the side bets you want. <laughs> all right, money talks. Then you'll fight me? I think I'm your man. Good, good. Hey, stick up some money. <laughs> Are you crazy? How much money you got on you? What have you been drinking? Gone off in the head again. Come on, give me your money. Hey, Sheriff. You want to hold the stakes? Well, I will, if you gents think you can trust me. It's all right with us if it's all right with the champ. It's fine with us. There you are. Come on, I'll tell you about it. That pug's a real professional. How are you going to whip him, Jesse? Sure is a professional, but so is Delta. Yeah, but she ain't in the same line of business. <laughs> you can't trust that New Orleans skirt, and you ought to know it. Will you stop worrying? Now, look. Dig up all the money we got, put it on me to stay three rounds. I'll see you at Miss Honeycutt's. Hi, Angel. Mr. Woodson, I've been looking all over for you. Well, that's where I've been, honey, all over. You, you've got to get out of town. Well, Angel, I thought you liked me. I do, I do, especially now. Look at this. Where'd you get this? Came in Paul's mail. Knew Jesse James. They found out about it, they'll have you put in jail. You don't want to see me in jail, do you? You know I don't. And you wouldn't tell anybody? Not if they kill me. Well, then how's anybody gonna know? That bad man can have some more pictures. He could send them to Paul, couldn't he? Yeah, he could at that, Angel. So you'll have to ride away like you always do. Someday you'll come back and get me? Will you be a good girl? Well, that's kind of hard for me to do, but I can try. Well, you try. I've got a couple of things to do and I'll be leaving right away. I'll be awful worried. Don't you worry, you just keep our secret. that horse, Jesse. Well, what do you mean, Dom? I mean it, Jesse. I'm real mad at you. Why? What have I done? It's not what you did. It's what you could have done last night. I Why? needed a little help. You didn't need any help. <laughs> Get out the way of that gate and I'll drill it. Beat it, Pete. I only came out to talk a little deal. I've got a little deal of my own to talk about. Where's that money you took from me the last time I saw you? Oh, I'm sorry I had to run out on you, Kate, but there was 20 or 30 guys behind me, and they all had guns. I'm still out the money. I know. I came out to talk to you. I got a little deal I can throw your way. I don't want any part of your kind of deal. Oh, now, doll, you and me used to get along all the time. Now, don't start that stuff with me, Jesse. Remember, I'm one girl you can't fool. Oh, doll, I'm not trying to fool you. You know, in spite of that shiny, you still got the most beautiful eyes in the world. You know, I always said that you were the biggest liar in the world. Now, what's that deal? Well, these cattle you're selling to Clark. I'm not asking where you got them. Where do you used to get cattle? Oh, here and there. But you sell them to Clark, get your money, right? I get my money right. Then, with a little help, you get them back, run them across the river, sell them again. Who furnishes the help? Frank, Cole, and uh, Jesse. You haven't changed a bit. You used to like me the way I am. I guess maybe I still do. Is it a deal? My head tells me no. But when have I ever used my head where you're concerned?
Where have you been? Covering a lot of sucker bets. Did you make any bets? If you lose, I'll be broke. Who's gonna lose? You know, doll, that eye looks all right. How does she look? How do I know? I haven't seen her. Oh, I wish I could believe you. You mean you don't? You let Canio get away. I told you what happened, Waco. Mm-hmm. You told me. Now, look, you're all upset. After the fight, we'll be even. We'd better be. Stop worrying. Everything's as fine as silk. All right, fellas, right, get your money out, out now. Right. 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 Five to one, you don't stay free. How about that? Five to one, you don't stay free. Get your money out. There's one over there. There's money. Five to one, you don't stay free. Get your money out, fellas. Hi, Angel. How's my best girl? I'm about as usual. Real bad. Well, come on. Let's go talk about it. Have you been watching the mail? Every day. You'd recognize the printing on the envelope, wouldn't you? I know it in a million and a G. Has your dad acted like he knows anything? Pa hasn't acted lately. He's been looking at ranches, but I don't expect we'll ever own one. Would you like to live on a ranch? Me and Pa's dreamed about it for years. Ranches are good for kids. Pa never reckoned on being sheriff. He likes cattle and horses and farming. And what do you like? Me? I'd like to ride with you. Yeah, but that comes later. I can wait. All right, you wait. Right now, I've got to get ready for the fight. Do you think you can whip that great big prize fighter? Do you think I can? I'm just worried, that's all. I can't help worrying about you. Thanks, Angel. You're about the only one that does. I'll always worry about you. Jay, this is one fight you'd better win. Jeff, we better watch this guy because he might be tough. <laughs> oh, think nothing of it. Gonna be the easiest one yet, huh? <laughs> if you only knew. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I said shut up. I've been asked to referee this here fight. I ain't never done it before, but I guess now's as good a time as any to start. So come on out here, fellas. <laughs> Mighty proud that this is the first contest ever been held under these mosquitoes of Queensbury rules in this country. I got a copy of them rules right here in my pocket. Hope you fellas to do as I say. Fight when you hear that bell ring. Stop when it rings again. I don't want no arguments. I want you to do as I say. I want you to fight clean. No pulling the hair. No gouging in the eyes. No kicking between the rounds. I want you to go to your corners now and come out fighting like Wildcat. <laughs> That champ old two knocks his head off. One. Come on, get out. What are your girlfriends gonna think about One, you? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. We ain't gonna win no fight sitting down there, partner. One. Come on, get up. He hasn't landed a solid punch all around. Mm. Well, then watch the crowd, because somebody's throwing rocks Three. at me. He's not trying. Lady, he's Four. trying. He's trying to stay alive in there. Wow. <laughs> so help me, Jake. If he doesn't kill you, I'm going to. Ain't they yelling? Jay's winning, ain't he? 
It's gonna win the booby prize. Yes, he is very nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is the easiest one yet. <laughs> he hasn't even laid a hand on me. Ain't you supposed to hit him sometime? Yeah, it would help some at that. What are you yelling? Why didn't you fight? Everything's gonna be all right. <laughs> watch his left, Jess. He's murdering you with his left. Yeah, and watch his right, too. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna take him this round. I'll try, Angel. Two fights in one week. But I like the women the best. One. When does it start to work? The next round. All right. Waco and Cal Kate was about a fight. Well, that fellow Woodson sure beating the champ's Three. fist to death with his chin. Like he was dope. <laughs> Morning, women. Tools to be used to get what you want. You think he's bad, Hurt? I certainly do hope so. Take him inside. Oh. Oh. Where were you when the stampede hit? Never mind that. Your smart talk has cost me everything I own. What about that? Yeah, what about it? You've let me down for the last time, Jay Woodson, and you had better come up with enough cash to break me even. Now, look, Doc. I am sick and tired of your big come brags on, and boys, your promises. Come on, boys, let's get out of here. I want my money back, and I want it quick, and you better... That's a lot of money for a lone woman like you to be carrying around, miss. I can take care of it. I bet you can at that. I pity the poor man who would try to rob you. That's been done, too. Well, I can't imagine. Waco was right at that. We lost everything, Jesse. Forget it. Kate bought in them cattle, and about now she ought to be getting paid off for them. Are you going to take Kate for both the cows and the cash? Why not? <laughs> now, that ought to make a real mess. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's science, baby, science. Nobody gets by that job. In a hundred fights, I ain't been hurt. <laughs> You're so wonderful. Ah, it's nothing. Take that guy Woodson. He couldn't whip his own mother. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so funny lying on his back. <laughs> Yes, I want to talk to you. I still think we ought to pull up stakes and get out of here. It's going to be real unhealthy wherever we go, Frank. Getting real unhealthy around here, too. Maybe we can break through and get home. Say, I know a little Frank just over to Kansas line that needs looking into. Nothing doing. When we leave here, we're going to take it with us. Well, happy day. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? That's what I'm thinking. Say, 
we sure made a cleaning, didn't we? <laughs> when we get to New Orleans, I'm gonna buy you a dime. Biggest diamond you ever saw. Bigger than my fist, honey. <laughs> hey, that's you. Hey, ain't somebody's following us back here. Well, what a charming couple. Jay Woodson, go away. Without kissing the bride. Can't make him go away. Yeah, you heard what the lady said. Beat it. The last time I listened to her, she cost me Jay. a lot of money. <laughs> Where's Kate? She ain't here. She's supposed to be here. I know that. But well, where is she? She went to town. We didn't run into her along the road. She went across the field in a big hurry. What for? She said she's gonna go kill Waco Gans. Why bother with her, Jesse? We gotta bother with her. Come on. You can find Kate. What I want to know is, what do we do when we find her? Just keep her away from the Golden Bell. Not me. You handle your own women. They trying to kill each other over you, Jesse? No, they just don't like each other. Seems like an awful waste of women. <laughs> it does it that, doesn't it? Seems to me like a good way to get rid of them. Why don't we just take the cattle and get out? Because Kate's got that money and I want it. Now look for her. I hope you brought the money you promised me. Franco, you gotta beat it. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Doll, you're in trouble, real trouble. Nothing that a little cash won't cure. Kate's in town. So? So she's loaded and not for bear. <laughs> Jay, do you mean that woman is aiming to shoot me? She sure ain't aiming to miss. <laughs> well, let her come. I said she ain't aiming to miss. I said let her come. Okay, doll, it's your deal. Are you the sheriff? Yes, ma'am, Sheriff Botts. I don't want to care this for the next hour or so. If it's any money, then I don't want it around here. This is for your trouble. Well, my trouble is I just can't trust myself around a heap of money. Put it away. I'll be back for it. What you aim to do? Shoot somebody. Hey, little girl. Yes, sir. You want to earn some money? Well, I have to do. Go tell Waco Gans that in 15 minutes, Cattle Kate will be looking for her. Now, listen, lady, you can't... Now, Sheriff, you wouldn't be planning to interfere, would you? Well, I tell you, about this time of day, I usually take a nap. Sleep tight, Sheriff. That's what I told you a thousand times you couldn't come in there. I tell you, I see Miss Waco. Cattle Kate sent me here. She's coming here in 15 minutes to shoot Miss Waco. Uh-oh. Well, you run along. I'll take care of it. Can't do anything for now. I'm sleeping. What it cost to wake you up? Make me an offer. That's enough. What you want me to do? You're about to have a gunfight on the street, Sheriff. What you want me to do? Stop it? Not exactly. Rest somebody? That was the general idea. Well, I'm always willing to do my duty as I see it. You know, Cattle Kate? I reckon I do. She comes stalking in here, pulling off her money belt, and walk right out again. Did you say money belt? Yes, sir. Got it right here in the door, and it worries me to have it around, too. Well, maybe I better do something about that. You know, she's an old friend of mine, and she isn't uh, quite right in the head. Always did say both of them girls not right sane. Yeah, you know, she gets ideas every once in a while that I'm Jesse James. 
Oh, Mr. Woodson, ain't nobody gonna believe no such hogwash as that. I'm glad to hear you say that, Sheriff. Come along with me. <laughs> You can't stop what ain't happened. But man, it's your duty. I'm calculated to know what my duty is and what ain't. This'll get your job. I'll see to it personally. You can have my job and do whatever you want to with it. An engagement, huh? Won't be good as the first, but more blood, though. Sure. Hurry up! Get him! Get our gear ready and I'll meet you in back of the bank in 15 minutes. We'll pull him out. Hey! You aren't going to run out on me, are you, Jay? Now, whatever gave you that idea? I heard what you said to your friends. It's only a business trip, doll. You're not going any place without me. I tell you what you do. You go home and get packed, and I'll pick you up in an hour. You'd better be there. Because if you aren't, I'm going to tell about the bank whether I go to jail or not. I'll be there. Nice work, Sheriff. Them there screaming is off, but I guess they'll calm down after a while. I can't help them worrying about this money belt. I never did like a heap of money laying around. Why don't you let me take it over to the bank for you? I wouldn't want to put you in all that much trouble, Mr. Woodson. Oh, it wouldn't be any trouble at all. Well, that'd be kind of nice of you, sir. Say, uh, Sheriff, speaking of the bank, remember the robbery? How did I forget it? I always did say it's an inside job. Did you ever stop to think who could get at Clark's keys real easy? Then let me see now. You don't mean his daughter. Of course, why didn't I think of that before? Jesse? Hi, Angel. I know you're going away, Jesse. Did you know that your dad's going to buy a ranch and retire? He is? Yeah, and you're going to be real happy there. I'll tell you what you do. You buy yourself a coat, raise him real good. There's nothing like a fine horse. But this is about more than one coat. Buy yourself some calves. One of these days, you'll have your own ranch. Then when my coat gets big, you'll come back. We can ride away. I'm afraid not, Angel. But you're my hero. Honey, I told you one time to get yourself another hero. I don't want a new hero. Besides, I don't know where to find one. Why don't you ask Reverend Snell? Maybe he's got some ideas. Goodbye, Angel. Money Bell, I just sent it to the bank, but Mr. Woods. Mr. Woods, in my foot, that's Jesse. 
Daddy James. Just calm down, lady. It'll soon pass. He said you had spells like this. I tell you, I want my money pill. I'll get you some water. I want my money! Start rounding up Clark's cattle. I'll meet you at the big meadow. Reverend, here's some seed I picked up. If you plant it in the right place, you might come up with quite a crop. Thank you. 